Hi, this is James Trailer with Trailerhead. I'm here to introduce today the Little DMX Box. It is the first industry standard stomp box that is a DMX controller. It's self-contained, easy to program, and has complete control over your lights. You can change the next scenes, you can do whiteout, blackout modes, there's a tap sequence, there's also an auto and a random scene sequence. I'm going to do a brief demonstration and I'll go over programming and more features later. So to get it started, you enter the run DMX mode and currently it's in manual mode. So in order to go to the next scene, you press the next button. The scene's changed through. I have some pre-programmed on set and it will cycle through and it goes back to the beginning. As you notice the cursor flashing here across the top, these are default times for fade and the scene timing when it's in auto mode. The lowercase f, the lowercase t means those are default settings. If you were to change these, which I'll cover later, then there'll be a uppercase f, uppercase t, which means it's scene specific settings. So currently I'm going to put it in auto mode. So for auto mode, you would hold down the auto button. It goes into auto mode. So for every five seconds, our scene will change with a one second crossover fade. So as it goes through these, I'll explain a little bit more about the box. The box can handle up to 100 DMX channels, has 30 user programmable scenes. That does not include the blackout whiteout scene, which you can also set independently as well. It has a chase tap sequence that has 32 steps. So whenever you do your tap sequence, which is, can be alternating flashing lights or, or you know, whatever scene that you want to set up for those, they can be 32 scenes. Within that, you can also control the timing within the steps so that you can have alternating and then you also speed it up at times. So like I said, this is the automatic mode. For random mode, you would hold down the random button. It would go into random. So now as it goes from scene to scene, it will randomly pick one. So it will actually jump around on your different scenes. To exit these modes, you do the same thing. You hold down the auto button, you hold down the random button. Random does, can operate in and out of auto mode. The tap sequence itself, once you press tap, it will start alternating your tap sequence. If you need to adjust the speed, you tap the button three times and it will change the speed for you and it will maintain that speed. To exit the tap mode, you would either go to a whiteout, blackout, or to your next scene. Hope you enjoyed this and like I said, I'll be covering more in future videos as far as the setup and other features.